Hi, this is Brian from Riverside Reptiles Education Center. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like and subscribe at the end of this video. Uh, so today we're going to talk about the African bullfrog, which is one of my favorite amphibians. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, where they're found in the wild, their natural history, how they some, some of their really neat survival adaptations, and since they're kind of popular in the pet trade, we'll talk a little bit about whether or not they make good pets. So this is Zambia. Bye Zambia, where are you going? So this is Zambia, our African bullfrog. We have three African bullfrogs here. Um, he's one of our largest. We actually just weighed him um, and he's a little bit under two pounds. Now, African bullfrogs are found mostly in South Africa, uh, north to Tanzania. Where you, don't walk off the table. So African bullfrogs are actually the second largest species of frog in the world. Uh, adult males like this can get up to three pounds. The first number one largest frog in the world, of course, belongs to the Goliath frog, which is also found in Africa, but up closer towards equatorial Africa, especially in the Congo River Basin. Um, but African bullfrogs, nonetheless, get very large. Again, adult males get up to three pounds. Females only get about half that size. Um, it's very unique in amphibians. Most amphibians, most females get larger than the males, but in bullfrogs, even our American bullfrogs, the males do get larger than the females. So these guys have some very unique adaptations for living in dry environments. So where they are found in Africa, uh, there are two seasons. There's a rainy season and then there's, there's the dry season. So during the dry season, what these guys do is they burrow down. <laughs> <laughs> they burrow down deep into the soil, into these uh, dried up lake beds, and they create kind of like a slime cocoon around their body. This helps them retain their moisture to keep it, keeps their body from drying out. And then when the monsoons happen and fill up all these shallow lakes, uh, the water trickles down to the soil, wakes up these bullfrogs. These bullfrogs emerge into these lakes and then their breeding season starts. And the males start to call, they attract the females, the females lay eggs, um, and then pretty much the females go off and do their own thing. The males actually will stick around and protect the eggs and they'll even protect their, their babies, their tadpoles. Where are you going, buddy? They'll protect their babies once they hatch. Um, so a big three pound African bullfrog will be sitting in the middle of all of their polywogs and they'll protect them from any would-be predator uh, that tried to pick off some of his babies. And once those lakes start to evaporate, these guys will actually start to dig backwards. They'll dig little holes, deeper pockets of water, um, so the tadpoles won't uh, dry out. And in fact, Zambia, you're being so cooperative today, thank you so much. These guys are great diggers. So on the back of his feet, kind of it's hard to see, right there, there's kind of like a tubercle. It's just kind of hardened, almost like a, a shovel or a spade. So this helps him dig uh, little holes or burrows backwards into the soil. I know you're getting grumpy with me. You don't like me tickling your toes. So when these guys are not laying eggs or protecting their babies. They're more of an ambush predator. So American bullfrogs, um, the ones we find here in Connecticut and throughout most of the United States, they've been actually introduced um, throughout most of the United States, even into California where they're an invasive species. But American bullfrogs, phenomenal jumpers. Their back legs are twice the length of their own body. <laughs> You're right, Melina. So they can jump very far. They can jump over 12 feet in a single leap. If you look at his back leg, he's got very tiny back legs. You also notice he's got an adorable cute butt as well. He does not like to be held this way. So these guys aren't good jumpers. In fact, he can barely get off the ground. So he's an ambush predator. So they sit very patiently, burrowed in the mud or in the muck, just with their eyes above the surface, and they wait for a small animal to walk in front of them. When it does, They'll leap out and grab them. Huge mouth, powerful jaws, and believe it or not, African bullfrogs have huge teeth. They have two bony protrusions on their lower jaw. 
They're not true teeth like our teeth. It's actually part of the lower mandible. And on the upper jaw, very sharp ridge, almost like a razor blade, helps them hold on, latch on to their prey items. And I brought some food, one of his favorite treats, cockroaches. So we're gonna feed Zambia, and you'll actually, when he grabs onto that food, if you look at his lower jaw, you'll notice those two bony protrusions going in. Now, as he ate that cockroach, one thing you might have noticed, which is really cool, um, he pulled his eyes into his skull. That's because he's using muscles under his eyeballs to push the food down his throat. Many frogs and toads do this. All right, so African bullfrogs, do they make good pets? Yes and no, it depends. Um, so they live for a long time. So they are an investment pet. So average lifespan in captivity is around 12 to 15 years. In the wild, however, they live for a lot longer. No wild African bullfrogs can live for over 20 years. Um, but the reason why they don't live as long in captivity is because in the wild, um, they're estivating for at least half of the year. They're sleeping under the soil. Um, so they're not eating year round. When they eat year round, um, they don't live as long, unfortunately, but they still live long enough to make it a pet that's kind of what I call an investment pet. It's a pet that you're gonna have for a long time. Uh, so keep that in mind. Also, they're fun to have, but they're not extremely entertaining. Uh, they're very sedentary, meaning <laughs> unless you have them out on a table trying to do a video, they're not moving around too much. Um, they usually burrow down into the mud. Um, they're not super entertaining. Uh, another thing to keep in mind, if you do get a male, um, they will sing. They will, well, let me rephrase. They don't sing like a spring peeper or a tree frog that has like a really cool voice. Um, these guys kind of sound like um, a car accident. <laughs> it's, not, it's not the prettiest song. Um, when I used to keep these guys at my house down in the basement, uh, when the boiler would kick on, all my male African bullfrogs would start singing. Um, kind of sounds similar to the American bullfrog, uh, but they can be loud. You keep them in your room at night, um, they might keep you up. Another thing to keep in mind, and this is the most important thing, um, they have teeth and they bite hard, um, especially big males like this. So you have to be very careful when feeding them. Um, I've had an African bullfrog accidentally latch on to my fingers when I was doing a, a program in front of a bunch of preschoolers and although the preschoolers were really entertained by this bullfrog hanging off my hand and blood trickling down my arm, it hurt a lot and I did need a lot of band-aids uh, afterwards. So they do have a very powerful bite, um, but they are fairly easy to keep. Uh, Again, if you want to get an African bullfrog as a pet, please do your research first. Uh, find a good article on someone who keeps African bullfrogs. Um, that's probably the best resource to go to instead of going to a pet store and asking um, someone that works there. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And Zambia, Zambia and I say, Goodbye. We'll give him a kiss. Oh, I love Zambia. <laughs> I don't want to be in the frog's butt. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, <clears throat> he doesn't always have the best aim. He hasn't swallowed it yet, so he might open and readjust. <laughs> He's not going to hurt you.